man making national headlines again, and this time his legal battle could be heading right to the U.S. Supreme Court. Yeah, Thomas Beatty, the so-called pregnant man, lashing out today after a judge denied his request for a divorce. The judge says his marriage isn't even valid. So clearly it's a story with lots of twists and turns, and our own Christopher Sine is sorting all this out for us tonight. And uh, Thomas says he's now under attack, Christopher? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, Katie, he says not only is he under attack, but so is his wife, children, and other transgender individuals. Now, Hawaii recognized his marriage between that of a man and a woman, but an Arizona judge said no because Thomas still has female reproductive organs. This is not an easy fight, but it's the right fight. Flanked by his attorneys, Thomas Beatty prepares for what is expected to be the first legal battle of its kind. Beatty was born a woman, became a man, then married, then had three children, and now wants a divorce. But a Maricopa County judge denied it, saying the marriage isn't recognized in Arizona. This is an unknown path. Um, Seven billion people on planet Earth, and this is the first I've heard of a female to male transgender who then gave birth. Hawaii recognized it as a traditional marriage, but the judge called it a same sex marriage because Thomas still has female organs. I thought I overcame these barriers back in Hawaii when I did all of my legal sex change and changed all my documentations. And the 39 year old says his wife Nancy wants the marriage to be recognized so she can move on as does Thomas's new girlfriend, Amber. Obviously, I don't want to be dating a married man. Thomas and Amber want to get married. That's another problem. Since Hawaii recognizes the marriage, without a divorce, he could be charged with polygamy. I'm embarrassed for the state of Arizona that they're, they're pretty much saying that we don't uh, accept transgender people here. We're making it difficult for them to have equal civil liberties. And today, Thomas told me he does, in fact, want to have more children. Yes, this could end up all the way at the U.S. Supreme Court. And if you're wondering about that divorce, why he just doesn't go to Hawaii to file for divorce, Thomas told me he lives in Arizona, therefore wants the divorce in Arizona. Katie? Keep us updated. Thank you, Christopher.